So in this demonstration we're going to show you how to take a table that is on your page with data. So in this case we'll add from a business object um, a couple of fields. We'll add the name and the salary for example. And we want to take this data and we want to filter it uh, by providing a list of names that we want to show up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an input text component up here. We're going to call it for example names and we're going to map the data to a new variable that we're going to call it names as well. Alright, so now what we want to do is when we put in a name uh, or not a single name but multiple names we want to filter the table. So we want to have an event here um, when the value changes and what we want to do here is we want to modify the value of our um, service data provider which is what is populating the table. Now in other blogs you've seen how to use the filter criterion to define such a criteria but in some cases um, you might have complex queries that are not answered by the filter criterion and we're going to use the queue parameter that is available for us as a URL parameter so we're going to use this URI parameter but in order to put something in here we need to return an object okay because this is expecting an object and there's another thing we need to do is we are going to provide a list of the names we need to actually format it into the proper query structure so to do that in our page we're going to add a little JavaScript a method I'm gonna copy it from here and just paste it over here so let's see what this function does. Uh, we accept a variable. The variable in our case is going to be a list of names separated with a comma. Then this line of code actually takes those names and surround them with single quotes. So every place there's a comma, it's going to surround the name then with a single quote around it. This line of code then goes over and adds the query structure. So this is the SQL query which says name, which is the name of the field, is in and then the list of names separated by commas and surrounded by single quotes. And then we're returning an object that has the queue parameter and the value that we defined here, so the actual query. So this is our little function and we're going to call it over here. So let's call our function and the function accepts a parameter which is the list of names which is what we got here and we're going to indicate that it returns an object then we can go to the assign variable step and we want to assign this return value into the URL param parameters object so we'll just drag and drop this one over here this would assign the value into this object and then what we want to do is we want to refresh our service data provider so we'll pick up the service data provider and hit refresh All right so let's run our little page I'm also going to open up our network monitor so you can actually see what we are sending over to the rest service so initially you can see the request over here there's no query parameter specified here okay and um, let's put in for example uh, Dave comma Chris and hit enter and you see the list has been filtered and if you look down here you can see that we now added a queue parameter with the values separated so name in and then this thing separated it's probably easier to just look at it directly over here here's our query okay and um, this would work by the way even if you don't have a comma if you just do Dave you'll get Dave etc uh, and if you have other values just put them in here if they don't exist they are not going to show up like that and that's how we basically uh, do an in query